Hello, I'm Chris, and uh, before I do the video about building the Saginaw box, I have to go over some things real quick. Number one, if you have a box that's out of play, like there's play in the steering wheel, or if you've never done this before, I would seriously not recommend trying this, unless it's you know the old car that you're not going to work in the morning or something like that. So did run into some issues with the big Teflon seal not wanting to go in there and um, let's get started okay so get this piece ready it has an o-ring in here take it out we're gonna put the new o-ring match it with the new one throw the old one away Before we put this on, I ran into issues with this Teflon ring not wanting to fit in the case and it was a real issue. I've been messing with it for hours and uh, you don't want to mess this up. So what I'm going to recommend doing is to go ahead and put this on without the o-ring, oil all this up, lube the case up. Just gonna, we're just going to set it in there without the o-ring. Ah. Okay. Now I would recommend doing this if you're if if, you, if it doesn't want to go in there at first. Just get it in there. Get get it used to being in there. Let's try to put the o-ring on. of lube and stuff go ahead and use wheel bearing grease for this because you need that look that you really need this lubricated we're gonna try one more time really starting to worry me. Well take it out and you need to reinspect it and just keep playing with it until you can get it until you can get it to go in there easy. Yeah, I'm happy now man. I, I, I couldn't get this damn thing in there man. Okay well I guess that was the hard part so now you know if this if you can't get this in there take the o-ring out carefully and just put this in there and just let it sit in that case and, it, and it, it'll get it used to uh, being in that space okay so now that you've got this uh, where it goes in and out easy comfortably and it's seated in there the way it's supposed to with the new o-ring and then the teflon seal this is a freaking uh, access plug i don't know supposedly from the factory they put a dowel in there and then they work the worm gear but we're not going to do it like that if that's how you do it, great, but we're just gonna... This was torqued pretty damn tight from the factory. The Chevelle, it was loose, it was pretty loose in the Chevelle. So just go back, I had to put it on a vise and retorque this. Some of them have a plug with a socket. This one's a one inch. Back in now, okay, so in case you don't know, the bearing goes in first, letters up, the seal with the lighter dots next washer the seal with the heavy dots washer and there's two snap rings I don't know I guess they're whatever next we're gonna have the small bearing this seal uh, this dust shield and then this snap ring. We're gonna go ahead and put this big one in. You can grease the bearing, oil it. I'm gonna, I have some wheel bearing grease. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on this just to ease this bearing in there. Letters up, drop it in there. You're gonna wanna get a socket that's bigger 
than the bearing. Alright, now we're going to put the seal in. Go ahead and uh, I'm going to put wheel bearing grease on these. Bunch of oil in these seals. Put the first one in there with the lighter dots. Washer. Same socket. We're trying to tap these in evenly, so try to be careful and tap them in evenly. Constantly look around it to see that it's it's going in there straight because it will get crooked. So. Alright. As you're tapping, make sure that little spring doesn't come off that seal. Mine actually popped off, so I had to put it back on there. Now this one you're gonna tap it in, but you're gonna watch where it just clears this place for this snap ring. Seals are a bitch to knock in. And then get your snap ring. Alright, get all that knocked in there. Put some grease just so you won't scratch these when you're putting the new uh, shaft through there. Alright, grease your bearing. Grease the outside. You need a socket that's just bigger than the bearing. Oil is sealed up. All right, socket that's pretty much the same size. Be gentle with it, just barely tap it in there. We're just gonna tap it to where the O-ring barely shows. I, or just kind of stick it in there. Oh yeah, this one you can just kind of do it with your hands. All right, check that out. Make sure your snap ring is in there. This is ready. All right, everything's back in. We're gonna change the O-ring, take each O-ring out at a time. We're gonna, you're gonna match them with the new O-rings, so there's no confusion. Don't take all the O-rings out and then you'll have a big freaking mess. Find O-ring, there you go. Don't stretch them too much, just Baby them, fluid. This piece right here, we're gonna change these three, um, whatever the hell they're made out of, O-rings. What are they, what did somebody say they were, Teflon? I don't know what the hell they are. Take all three of them out. All right. Same thing, just get them wet. Be easy on these, these are like hard. Be careful with them, put the first one on. This is time consuming, by the way. <laughs> I, would, I would not use tools on this. But, I mean, you know, you do what you wanna do, it's a free country. Now be careful with this. Leave this overnight if you can to let these like shrink back down. So get those three on there. It's pretty much done. There's an O-ring in here. Um, we're going to go ahead and match it. Just stick it in there. Oil it up. Test fit it, make sure it feels kind of squishy. Squishy, squishy. 
you could put tape over it or something, but uh, be very careful with it. Get this torqued. We're 100% we're sure this goes in the case now. Now we put this back in the case and uh, go ahead and put some oil in there. Take some wheel bearing grease and lube up this inside here. All right. All right, we're gonna turn this to where we can see the place where the bearings are gonna go in. This piece here, we're gonna put the worm. We're gonna put it all in there at once. Make sure you make sure you have that new O-ring in there. Go ahead and. Uh, Put, a little, put some grease on this, on this bearing. All right, now we're gonna put this in the case, the whole thing. Go ahead and run this down as far as you can. All right. So we're gonna start, we're gonna put the, pit, get the piston as far back that way as we can. Now we're gonna spin this counterclockwise to suck the balls in there. All right, got one in there. Drop the second one. We're gonna stab it down. Try to get it started. All right. Spin the worm gear with your hand. Figure out how to get it sucked down in there. Put another one in there. Three. Just kind of giving you an idea how to do this. Suck it down in there, use the worm gear. Or you can push it or use the worm gear. Four. This is not easy. This is gonna take some trial and error, so be ready for it. Four. All right, as you get them in there, you're gonna be watching the other hole to see any sign of a bearing or grease or something coming out of that other hole and you need to stop. Oh, see it's trying to go in the wrong place.
All right, so whenever you can see both bearings in there like that, and you're gonna ha you're gonna have to trial and error this and figure it out. But you want to count all your ba all your bearings, and I have four left over right here. Okay, so this is whenever you're gonna get some your little cage, this little cage. Put some wheel bearing grease in it. However much you feel comfortable with. But it doesn't really matter because it, it's, I've been driving this van for a year and it works fine. So. Like no issues at all. Like at all. It just leaked. Alright, get it like that. Got the thing packed in there. The four bearings. Gonna stick it in there. Get it all the way down. And now you're pretty safe to. We're gonna put the strap on it. Put the bolts. Hold this down, and we're gonna move the worm here to move the position so we can have access to the other bolt. Access bolt, straighten this. Now give it a full up and down, left and right, whatever. Make sure this slides all the way. No problem. If it hangs up, that means you put the ball bearings in there. They 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 weren't installed right, so you got to reinstall the ball bearings. So be careful; it don't go out the freaking case. Kind of center it. Let's go ahead and get this uh, aluminum cap or lid or whatever the hell it is in there. This uh, put the O-ring in there first. Best way to do it. This doesn't matter the way it goes in there, but usually you end up marking it. Usually they just go in. Get you a rubber hammer. Try to get it in there first. This one. Does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a screwdriver, just a regular. <clears throat> screwdriver we're gonna start the uh, get your new one the new one to the aluminum and we're gonna try to start uh, the beginning of it in there like that normally you wouldn't have to do this but this one is being very difficult all right and then kind of get your screwdriver and trying to keep this piece in there you're trying to pry this plug in As soon as it stops, get you some pliers or something to just put a little bit of pressure on this to make it push that cap out. Press it out. Make sure it's all right. You're sure you got these two torqued in there. To understand this, all it's doing is it's tightening down on another thrust bearing right here for the front. And if this thing is loose right here, you'll have another type of play in, uh, in this whole thing being loose. So this thing needs to be bottomed out, or as far as it'll go where it stops. And the way you're going to check that is if this is real hard to turn. See, it's easy to turn. Tighten it all the way down, like where it feels like it's bottoming out. All right, when it feels like it's really, 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 really tight, uh, I would recommend using this piece of crap method with this needle nose pliers to do this part because you're not going to over torque it. You're not going to over torque it by accident. So run it in. It has an O-ring. It will get tight, but uh, you want it to bottom out or stop. And whenever you're stopped. All right, whenever you feel it stop, uh, this is going to adjust another type of play in here. So this is important too. And if you tighten it all the way down, you're basically just squishing the little bearing in there. And this should be very hard 
or impossible to turn by hand. That's very hard to turn, but it's just very hard. You don't want that. And now when you get it down, bottomed out, you can look at your marks and you'll see that from the factory they ran it all the way down and then they gave it some clearance right here. So I don't know if that's 20 thousandths or whatever the hell they figured it out, but you don't have to work. You don't have to worry about that because you marked it. So back off. And everything should be perfect. So do it with your hand now. It's still a little tight, but it's you can tell that this is better. All right, put this on. Clean the threads up, the wire brush. And now you can see how it's all making sense now. We got our two marks, now we're gonna tap this one. Uh. All right, so that was a point in the beginning of the video, we lined these up perfect. So now they're lined back up perfect, this is tight. Still turn this by hand, and that's perfect. All right, we just dumped o um, a bunch of oil in here. Uh, everything's moving like it's supposed to. Now we're gonna go on to this piece. It comes with an impressive looking fancy gasket. Um, you can oil this up if you want to to be safe. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, only goes on there one way. All right, now you want to kind of center this box. You want to center this gear. So all you're doing is three grooves. Just get the groove in the middle like that, real simple. And you want to center this too, so. You put some grease on this gear. I'm gonna go ahead. Because it is dry. Grease that gear up a little bit. Uh, center this. So if this is gonna go on there like this, we want these teeth uh, like that. It's not gonna fit right. All right, everything's centered. Go ahead and put this in. Be careful going through those seals. Just be easy with it. You ain't gonna rip them. All right. Four bolts. Kind of evenly squish that O-ring because it does stick up a little bit. Do some kind of pattern like that to evenly squish the gasket. Put all up. Probably a better idea to go buy your brand new box. Pay the core charge and then maybe try to rebuild the old box you know just for fun to get an idea and then once you build one box the second box will be easier than blah 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 blah, blah. peace out it's not beer